welcome to geetham insight test prep series in this video we are going to learn venn diagrams so venn diagram what does it mean the pictorial representation of the given information of the given set is known as venn diagram in this topic if you are given a question this way let's say how to solve this one if you look at the given question the information is about two subjects math and physics in a class of 100 students 50 students like physics 60 students like math and 20 students like both then find how many students like only physics so this is the given question now in order to solve this let us prepare a table or let us draw a venn diagram this way as shown on the screen there are two circles among which the first circle represents math and the second circle represents physics if you guys can understand this a b and c now mathematics is about this circle so a plus b is math b plus c is physics so people who like math is represented by this circle people who like physics is represented by this circle now you are given that 20 students like both so b is 20 as we discussed earlier a plus b is 60 b is 20 now we have to find the value of a that 40 b plus c is 50 among which b is 20 so c will be 30 and another important thing now as there are 100 members in total that should be considered as mu mu is nothing but the universal set so mu is equal to 100 so every element that you pick at random should be present in mu now some of these three so a plus b plus c is 90 but you are given 100 members in total so we are left with 10 members that's n n is nothing but the elements which belong to mu and should not belong to any of the given sets elements which belong to mu but should not belong to any of the given sets that's known as n now let's answer questions based on this only physics so how many students like only physics that's 30 let us look at the next one how many students like exactly one subject here 40 members like exactly one subject that's math here 30 members like exactly one subject that's physics so on a whole there are 70 members who like exactly one subject at least one subject at least one it means that exactly one or more than one one or more than one as we discussed earlier 70 members like exactly one subject and people who like more than one that's 20 if you can understand this the number 20 here i mean b the number 20 here is included in both the given subjects these 20 members are participating in math the same 20 members are participating in physics as well so this 20 are participating in more than two subjects so one or more than one exactly one is 70 more than one is 20 so your answer will be 90 at most one subject at most one what does it mean exactly one plus less than one exactly one is 70 plus less than one as we discussed earlier n is equal to 10 so n so these are the persons they are the students who are in mu but they did not include in any of the given subjects they are not participating in any of the given sets so 70 plus 10 so these 10 members like zero subjects which is less than 1 so 70 plus 10 which gives you 80 now let us look at the next one you are given 
information about three languages english spanish hindi there are 500 members who speak english 400 speak spanish 300 can speak hindi in addition to this you are given some more information 330 members like only english 70 members like only english and spanish 220 like only spanish 60 like all the three now in order to make your work easy let me write alphabet here a b c d e f g and n now a is nothing but only english c only spanish g only hindi b only english and spanish now i want you to understand the difference between these two english and spanish is represented by b plus e b is only english and spanish in the previous case if it's b plus e english and spanish hindi is also included into that but as far as only english and spanish is concerned no other language should be included with this so this is what we need to understand so i want you to understand the difference between only english and spanish english and spanish now let me raise the ink on the screen now we have to find the values of these things i know that sum of all these things is 500 so 330 70 60 and let it be x now sum of these values should give you 500 330 plus 70 is 400 400 plus 60 is 460 so x is equal to 40 let it be y let us try to find the value of y now 70 plus 220 is 290 290 plus 60 350 but it's 400 in total so the value of y should be 50 let us try to find this value let it be z 40 plus 60 is 100 100 plus 50 is 150 so the remaining value is 150 so we can answer any of the questions based on this the first question how many persons can speak only hindi only hindi is 150 let us look at the next one how many speak only in english and hindi english and hindi is 100 but the given question is about finding only english and hindi it means that spanish should not be included into this so your answer will be 40 40 members speak only english and hindi so this is how we solve questions based on venn diagrams that's all for now watch the video if you have any doubts i will clarify all your doubts in the coming next session thank you one and all have a nice day